Time permits, must you must see that movie. Uh, you you know the movie Coach Carter. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So you appreciate this mo uh, the role of Samuel. Yeah. Simon. Yeah. Samuel. Yeah. Samuel Jackson. Yeah. Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson. You appreciate his role. He was worried about the grades also, so he he, he fought for the, those grades also. The mother and father, the parents were all the time worried about the games. They were all the time worried about the games, that they should play the games. And he was worried about their grades also. So ultimately the basketball championship, it doesn't go to them, but still they win. And then they show. This uh, first movie, Take the Lead, it's, it's all also a real life story of a, of a tango dancer. And uh, he was in Queens. And um, he changed those people, and all those people who changed, uh, th there were a lot of uh, two, three boys were very obese, and two, three girls were very obese. So he wants obese boy to teach the most slim girl how to do tango with her. And this is what is the uh, romance of the story, <coughs> something that leadership can be developed, and they were all developed into a very good thing. So leadership is, can be developed, and this leadership comes from within. Take the lead. Coach Carter. Then there is one more movie you know about that? About that? that is Denzel Washington's movie. Oh, Remember the Titans. Yeah, Remember the Titans. Uh, the Titans. So these are few examples. Now, uh, as you know, in India there are a lot of role models. Like uh, anyone you ask, Amitabh Bachchan is my role <laughs> Sachin Tendulkar is my role model. Uh, whom would you like to make your role model here? Who would you like to emulate that you want to Adopt few qualities for from him or her. Michael Jordan. <laughs> 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 from India. <laughs> living here, living here. Whom you like to emulate? Whom you like to make a role model? Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Bill Gates. First you like to become a millionaire. No. <laughs> <laughs> then you like to donate. <laughs> you can't donate before. Do, do. That's true. I mean, this, the things that he does, he makes awareness about the issues at hand too. Not only he, the he, he may be a role model. Anyone else? Cool. Anyone else you think of? No one. No one wants to become George Bush. No. No. Oprah no. oh. yes. <laughs> Winfrey. He was hmm? Oprah Winfrey as a role model. She can be. She may be one of the <laughs> Oprah Winfrey. I think I think a good one is also Bill Clinton. I actually read his autobiography, mm -hmm. and like when he was a, when he was a kid, how much suffering he went through, and how much you know he was very poor. He came came from nowhere really. You see, leadership had, should have those qualities, uh, which do not have any negative aspect of it. Uh, yeah, with, with Clinton, I, I agree everything, not his many aspects. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why, that's why I will not like uh, Clinton as a role model. But deficiencies in me also. Time management, many things, time scheduling, many things may be lacking in me also. So it is all good qualities which you emulate and that is how you become like that. So let us clap for them. Oh. For her self-confidence. First, you got to start by believing in yourself and uh, try to become successful <coughs> in any goal that you're trying to achieve. And then uh, self-confidence uh, uh, needs to be, uh, uh, you need to participate in uh, all the aspects of life. You need to I think you can, you can become a leader easily, but you can't stay a leader easily. Because there's always somebody who has better ideas, who has better self-confidence, who has better Understanding of so, the people. So ultimately, he'll overcome. He will, yes. Someone, someone, someone will overtake him. And right. Someone will take him. Only one survives in the last. You see, only one survives in the last because he is the leader. And what are those skills? And how to develop that? How to develop those skills? You got talked of self confidence. How to develop self confidence? Well, how to develop it? You want to try like uh, uh, try to lead people. You want to... And magnet attracts positive thoughts. So what Krupa said, you have to start reading self-introspective literature. Start reading that literature, start becoming like that, invite those by positive vibrations all the time, think like that, think like that all the time. Once you start thinking like that, you start becoming... Your magnet gets charged all the time. Once you start getting magnet charged, then you are a very positive person. First and foremost key is positive outlook. Positive outlook.
if your outlook is positive then all the time positive thoughts will come to you i told you one thing that if you start thinking negative then the negative thoughts will come to you i am not going to do it you see i tried many times but i am just going to fail if you keep on telling yourself then you are going to fail and if you going for a driving examination and driving examination you fail three times why because you kept on telling me telling yourself oh i, I did committed some mistake now here also i am going to commit mistake and you commit mistake you see your body aches according to your own mind whatever your mind is instructing that is that is the one thing which you have to make stronger your inner self has to be made stronger inner self inner self is made stronger by keeping you giving yourself daily positive thought giving yourself daily positive thought daily means koi you you don't want to fix up any time every moment every time whenever you meet people try to inject in yourself positive vibrations positive vibes this vibes the work is there these vibes they start making you making your language you see the person who is self confident his language he speaks from his the way he walks the way he talks the way he makes friends his his language changes and that leadership skill i want you to develop you see in my university when boys and girls they come they are they come from villages rural areas from the districts which never they have never seen this type of exposure and when they come to my university what happens in the they are exposed to so many people lot of people they are exposed to and after 2 years you watch them the language is totally changed totally changed they start speaking from their actions they start speaking from eyes their eye contact if you just make it they are full of confidence debate is something today which will bring out a leader in you when you start speaking putting up your arguments one by one one by one then you will know exactly what exactly is leadership self confidence self confidence it has to come then it doesn't work. it it is lip service thing the lip service then it doesn't work. okay lee um how can this be accomplished I think pretty much like you have to realize that you're with the people and not above them and that like you re- represent them and you wouldn't be in the position of a leadership without their support so you have to like understand that you're like you're not above them or like better than them you're just with them you know Also yeah uh, you need to set good examples for upcoming leaders like uh if for us uh, we can set good examples for the low kids that are out there uh like you said we have to be a servant like if we are leaders we have to serve the people in order to be a leader and that doesn't go unnoticed that's why that's one of the uh, best qualities the leaders have also you need to relate people with the leaders that that's another way of communicating with them and that way you know uh what they want and that way you can represent them in the society and uh so you'll be a good leader and you can empower them you know, i a little bit don't agree with that can so through which you can control them if we don't go about them then how can you become leader don't bully them but just have a capacity learn a cap- learn that capacity to empower them if you don't have that then how can you do that have camaraderie hmm Can you can you say loud? Can you say loudly? Let's be friendly. Empowering others as a leader. To become to do like that, you have to be in any case leader. You understand? You have to be in any case a strong leader. A leader who believes in flexibility. A leader who believes in controlling the temperament. A leader, a leader who believes in controlling his sensual desires, a leader who believes in becoming sensitive when it should be and becoming insensitive when it is it should be. These are few things which are attributes of the leadership, and you have to learn those qualities of leadership. Okay? Anyone who wants to ask the question from the floor? Anyone? All hungry? All raring to go to lunch? All young youngsters have gone. Okay. We'll just join them. Two more questions. Okay, sir. One more question. Opinions and um, use them. You know, and um, you want to give back to the community, yeah. the leader. Yeah. Community has given something to you, leadership. Mm-hmm. Now, how to pay that, pay them back? 
Um, what type of thing you would like to do? What type of activities you would like to adopt? I guess, like for example, Mahatma Gandhi, you know, he believed in non-violence and all that stuff. So he teach the people about non-violence and the people get into that and got a freedom. I, I'm asking about not philosophy, I'm asking about the activities. Suppose I do some activities like yoga in the morning, I do writing, I do reading, I uh, give services to many people. Being a doctor, I, I treat many people. What type of activities do you like to do? Just like you do. Oh. <laughs> I'm not pointing to that. <laughs> I'm pointing to certain type of activities like um, social service. Like, what will you like to do in social service as a leader? Like, um, I have given probably, up enough hint to you. Probably like, um, you know, help out, like, you know, like, like homeless shelters and stuff, like maybe like, you know, have, you know, everyone gather, like, or donate money or something to help out. You're motivating others yeah. to do, do the same. Yeah. So that the people who are needing, they do it something, they, they do for society. Yeah. They give their debt back to society. Yeah. Exactly. You like to do that. But as a leader, your voice will be heard. Yeah. Everyone will like to hear you. Everyone will like to do in response to you. Yeah. You see, if, if you make a no voice, then it is totally different. If you as a leader make a voice, it is totally different. So you as a leader, if you want to tell something, then that will be taken. If I may make an appeal, I, in India I made an appeal against female feticide. There, there is a lot of female feticide occurring. And because of that, there is an imbalance of 100,000 to seven, around 800, it has come down. This means 200 boys are going to be unmarried throughout life. This is happening in India. Why? They don't want babies. They want babas. Also. <laughs> they want only boys. They don't want girls. And this is happening there. So because of that, there is a lot of fetish occurring by the doctors, by the sonography people who are doing sonography, eco, eco, eco sonography. So we are raising a appeal like anything. The moment I came in the field, since last two, three years, momentum has gained like anything. Because I am there and the whole organization, then after me, the all spiritual organizations, they got involved. And we do cleaning of the Ganges. Cleaning of the Ganges, we just clean the bed of the Ganges. So I went and my governor, governor of my province, he also said, okay, Dr. Sir, if you go there, I will also come. Then both of us came around more than 2,000 students of university and the whole organization, they were there. But there were about 10,000 more from Hardwar city because we were there. They all came and we cleaned the Ganges in three, three hours, three hours the whole Ganges. And about 20 truck load of the, the dirt we were removing, removed from the bed of the Ganges. But it was the last day which government had, had done the cleaning. Already the cleaning was done. Government had done the cleaning, they were going to start the flowing of the Ganges on the night. We did it on the last day. We removed 20 truck load of the, of the game. Because we came. The leader makes a difference in the society. Leader brings awareness about the blindness. Leader, leader like Anne Anna, Anna Sullivan and Helen Keller, I, I gave you the example. Leader, leaders are the ones who brings the change in the society. They, 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 they start a catalytic process. And they start changing the whole world process. This is why we need leaders. Social service, aradhana. You remember Aradhana. Aradhana means service to mankind as a whole. Service to mankind as a whole. Do something for the society. Do something for the people who are suffering. AIDS patients, uh, sons and daughters, they are suffering. Lot of neglect they are suffering. Then lot of divorced couples, they need counseling. You can give counseling to them. You can go to senior citizens. You can give a little bit service to them. And if you go, then with you, lot of people will go with you. Because you are a leader in the, in the society. Being a leader in the society, you can give back to society. You can go. Thank you. One, two, three, four. I think that is the only answer. Oh, second question. What steps can one take to transform himself into a leader? Uh, partly we have dealt with that, but anyways, relationship is very stronger. And thirdly, they are very strong leaders. And in just being in their proximity brings in you that feeling of security. That is security. As such, the security is different. Once is God's security. God security, none of the security is FBI, CI, 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 CI yeah. and all those things. But that security is not going to help. The security which is going to help is your own self and your leader. But your leader will not take you like this. Okay, okay I'll guide you, now go left, now go right. You have to take your own help. You have to just take guidelines from him or her 
and then become like that. Anyone else who wants to ask? Yeah. I think another one of the most important part about being a leader should be uh, uh, listening, and especially listening to a group which you're trying to lead. Be a, be a good listener. Try to listen to them. Try to listen to their feelings. Try to adopt the uh, changes which they bring. Uh, with, with, with their suggestions, with their suggestions and the, all these things should, should be accepted. A good listener, you must be a good listener. Sometimes what we do, the leaders, what they do, they start pumping the knowledge. And after pumping out, they say, okay, do it, and go. It won't be done, because it has not been two-way channel. It should be two-way, give and take, give and take. Then only it will happen. Anyone else? Maybe through Yagna, I like um, gain the life the resources, the knowledge, the influence, and then become a leader. Because if you don't have the proper tools, you're not going to become a leader. The same Aradhana and Yagna, all this, these are the process. Our Yagna is not Swaha. Yagna is something, a workshop. And in, in that workshop, we learn leadership. Hey, come on, let us correct this school. Hey, come on, let us do this thing. Hey, come on, this teaches leadership. These are the few activities. Then the camps, the youth camps, which we are doing. In these camps, what we did? We learned leadership, we learned friendship and relationship, not only by classes, but by the activities which we did. Invisibly, somehow, unknowingly, all these attributes have come to us in three days. And provided we practice them, if we practice them regularly, then we will be able to lead to society. Okay guys, thank you very much. Claps for all of you. Lifestyle. Yoga is not just a working out, not only does it improve flexibility, but can also help you when you are sick or ill. It has worked in the past for the great leaders of India and it can work for us. It has been proven to work for the masses. Yoga is a lifestyle affecting us in every minute of our lives, improving our relationship within ourselves, Aham Brahmasmi, the God within ourselves, and it improves our relationship with others, such as friends and family. It also improves our spirituality, something that working in a gym cannot. Overall, yoga meditation can improve concentration, flexibility, and mental wellness, which aerobic exercise cannot do. This is why we stand to support yoga meditation over exercise in the gym. They're too fat! They can't move the Aerobic exercises relieve endorphins, which are hormones that help relieve stress. And you will have energy for the whole day, all 24 hours. With all this energy, you will be happier and more successful. Because mentally, you will be free. With fast results, you will feel better about yourself and gain more confidence. Don't worry. Be happy. Be confident. And lastly, in this fast-paced world where everybody is saying, I don't have time, I'm too busy, gyms are more convenient. They are located everywhere, in every city, on every street, whereas yoga centers are so hard to find. And in gyms, there are so many personal trainers which will gladly help you to adjust to your level and get fast results in a short amount of time. So lift the weights of stress off your back and get fast results. Sorry. Uh, the main point that um, Valmiki Group made was flexibility, which is obtained through yoga. And um, we just wanted to point out that the, the same flexibility can be um, obtained from a gym, from doing aerobic stretches and aerobic um, exercises such as cycling and swimming, that in a smaller time frame, it, at a quicker pace than um, yoga will allow it to be. Um, yoga is something that is very slow paced and it takes time. You have to give it more time than um, aerobic exercises would require. Keep, keep on, keep on. Yeah. Keep on saying as, as much as you can. Um, also, um, try to be aggressive, try to be, put, put up the arguments. Also, yoga is, can sometimes be, um, 
problematic in performing because some of the stances are very particular. They are very, um, they have to be very rigid and like the person who just started it just don't have, they don't have the flexibility to go to the level. They are stuck at a certain level for a certain amount of time. Whereas when you do aerobic exercises, you, you, you can just go out, take a walk, and that's aerobic exercises. It's very simple, it's very obtainable. You can just buy a bicycle and go ride a bicycle, and that's aerobic exercise, and you lose weight, and you lose, you get strength from it. Also, um, 30 seconds. <laughs> also, aerobic, ex um, also yoga is very, um, Continuously talking, relevant, not irrelevant. Secondly, you got two minutes. Don't waste your two minutes. Try to utilize each and every second. Be prepared with the arguments. As Kruti tried to do it, but she was uh, short of arguments. So she has to present the uh, things. See, I'm not demoralizing you. I'm just telling you. Everyone has to just be eloquently speaking. Come on, Parvi. All right. Uh, the vast group brought up some good points. Um, so athletes, you know, don't do yoga at all. That's surprising to me because uh, these days players such as Kevin Garnett, which everyone knows, and Shaquille O'Neal. I mean, he's a big guy, not a beast to say, but he can still uh, do yoga. He, but you know what he increased? He gets agility from it, which, however, aerobic exercises won't give you. You can increase your joint movement by doing, um, going to the gym and doing aerobic exercises, but that's nowhere as close as the the range and abilities that you will increase from yoga. Um, these days, for physical therapy, you do some weightlifting. However, they're, they're starting to concentrate mainly on doing yoga. Why? Because it's easier on the joints. And like you start off in the beginning, you start off slow. And you not necessarily even have to do exercise. You can just do pranayam, which will just overall help you increase your mental, physical, and spiritual awareness. And your just overall health. Um, in addition, um, obese people, they, do not, they don't need to go and do all these fancy yoga manipulations and whatnot. They can sit there and do pranam for 15 minutes, like we learned this morning. And we said that you can just melt the fat away more efficient than doing a bike. You can do a bike for about an hour and you lose at the max 500 calories. Yoga, you do for about 15 minutes, you'll burn about, the, about 400, which comes out to be about 1,200 an hour, which physical exercises don't do. Another risk is when people stop going to the gym for after three days, all the muscle mass that they have gained starts turning into fat. That fat goes straight, straight into the blood and can give you a heart attack. That's a risk that you will never get with yoga. Um, you guys mentioned that endorphins were released from doing mental exercises or from doing uh, physical exercises. Well, endorphins are just like steroids or painkillers. That's all they're doing. However, when you do yoga, you're concentrating on the different chakras which release hormones which overall affect your health from making you a better, uh, give you better energy for the rest of the day, better spiritual health, and overall physical health. And finally, Guru Dev, yeah. sages and sadhus, went to the Himalayas for months at a time. They never did physical exercise, but they never got any disease, and they returned yeah, in good health. When we said that the, athletes, that the athletes get their muscles and strength by working out, we did not mean that that's the only way they do it. They also do uh, yoga. They can, but the way they're getting their muscles is by aerobic exercises and weightlifting. And um, Guru Dev, he went to the Himalayas and he did yoga. That's all right, but the, he had to get up there. The way he did it was with the aerobic strength and uh, endurance. He went for meditation, not yoga, but he did use these aerobic exercises also. Weightlifting and aerobic um, exercises are faster. It's, it's better for you because, because you get results faster and you can maintain them by, by doing it constantly. I think that the gym clearly is faster means of getting in shape. But in this, this time of age, we're not looking for faster, we're looking for permanent results. And permanent results for over 3,000 years, yoga and meditation has effectively shown that um, there are permanent and lifestyle changes that uh, can be brought about in one's life by doing yoga and meditation. So we're not looking for short-term, short-term effects. We're looking for the long run. So when you're 30, when you're 40, when you're 50, when you're 80, when you have grandkids, so we're looking for permanent results, and that's 
that can only be brought by yoga and meditation. Uh, I'm going to address a few, few points made in the opposition's opening statement. First of all, the time issue. Um, they argue that the gyms are on every street corner, so it's easier to go to a gym. But I say, you can do yoga and meditation in your own living room, in your own home. So how is that? How is that better? Um, second of all, um, yes? Do you have seen diseases such as polio, the Black Plague, and they kill thousands of people? In India, where rishis have been practicing yoga and meditation for 3,000 years without mass disease, yoga and meditation take you from the spiritual, mental, and physical well-being. It also allows you to become an effective leader, whereas physical exercise takes you from physical to mental without any spiritual well-being. The yoga forms a relationship with your group. It also, so we want to talk about aerobic exercise. And yes, it, it does take you. A bit louder. A bit louder. Oh, OK. <laughs> going, to the, going to the gym actually does build social skills. Think about this. You have to deal with a trainer. You have to deal with other people around. You have to uh, say, oh, well, can I use that mach machine after you? <laughs> Simple things. It's, it's a lifestyle as well. Because, yes, you, you begin slowly, and your trainer helps you to figure out the skills that are, you're uh, positive at and build on those. So. Your so, what I'd like to close with uh, is that yes, it is a faster, faster result overall than what yoga can give you, and you don't have to do it alone, which we are right now. Technology, communication, medicine, everything. Um, life gets safe faster. Um, with the communication, we can connect all over the world. Um, in a heartbeat now. Um, the, um, sorry. Um, They're losing the time. life, um, um, the, sorry. Um, science is, uh, now. Do you want me to start? Okay. I must admit that science has brought us many life-saving medications it can, that can cure diseases, that can cure il illnesses, that can prevent ailments. And although many people may think that this has dramatically um, um, progressed our lives, the fact is, um, what have, exactly have we ended up with? We've ended up with nuclear bombs that kill thousands of people. We've ended up with warfare. We've ended up with conflicts between countries that don't really need any conflicts. We've ended up with thousands of people dying from attacks that are unnecessary. And why are all these things happening? Why are thousands of innocent people dying? Because of science. The fact is we have a lack of connection and we have a lack of spirituality because of the fact that we are only thinking about science. The fact is we need spirituality. Whenever science fails, we turn to spirituality. We turn to spirituality to help us, to give, to give us faith, to give us something. Spirituality, the, the definition of spirituality is that it is a belief in virtues and ideals, in emotions and ethics. The fact is, spirituality has brought us religion, it has brought us faith, it has brought us protection, it has brought us security, some form of security that we need to turn to whenever science fails. It has brought us yoga, it has brought us healing, it has brought us so many physically and emotionally healing points. And the fact is, in the end, even if we don't have any form of technology, if we don't have any form of medicines, any form of man-made technologies, or any man-made protection, all we have is spirituality. And the fact is, even if we don't have science, we have spirituality. It cannot be lost. It's in our souls. No science can prove exactly where our spirituality is, but science itself concurs with the beliefs of, spirit of spirituality. Excuse me. Science cannot touch spirituality nor will it ever be able to separate, uh, separate it from, our, from ourselves and with its own advancements. Thank you. Okay. Um, well, like they said, science has cured a lot of people, but spirituality has brought in faith into patients with cancer and has gotten them through the period of recovery and the period of surgery. And faith has gotten us really far 
spirituality and within ourselves with other people. And the, this faith, it comes from virtues and humans and God. God is a collection of virtues. And when you pray to God, you're also bringing the virtues in yourself. So this faith is really giving you a lot of confidence, and that confidence can help you through times um, when you're, when they are hard and that are being tough for you and your friends. And um, the proof for the um, that fact that spirituality has worked is in the sympathetic and parasympathetic systems, your nervous systems. When you have stress, um, your digestive system doesn't work as well as if you were free. And and the rishis who live in the Himalayas, they don't have coats or anything. They, they are, their spirituality has made their bodies have enough heat for them to survive in just um, robes and in dhotis. And so you can, there are lots of examples and that show that spirituality has let us survive. And spirituality has taken us through times that are very difficult for us to go through. <laughs> Are you reading the Yeah, start. Society. Without, pro without progress, human beings will never progress in the society. Most important, science offers proof. We must take importance in the science because it can help us to improve the whole world. Um, medical science has saved many lives, like your grandparents, grandfathers, brother, sister, mother, father, whoever. Um, medicines are affecting and they work fast, unlike spirituality. Also, without that, a lot of people will be blind, and you can't even read any of this stuff. You can't go anywhere. Here <laughs> in So, science is the important, I guess, and we do use it day to day. Yes. Um, yes, I guess, yeah. For science, because they provided the transformation to get here, and <laughs> but we're, they, they may have provided uh, the transportation, but we're here for the spirituality. And uh, first of all, science is great. They created houses and everything that protects us from weather, animals. But can the houses protect us from the evils that there are inside of us? It's spirituality that gives us good wills and everything. The si science has created weapons that, that we use to even kill our brothers. They have created uh, money, greed. In old times, we didn't have greed that allows us to kill our own kind. Science can create medicines. They can relieve our headaches and even save lives. But it, but it can also create drugs, uh, heroin, cocaine, and everything that is used for uh, bad, uh, bad for our health and bring violence in our life. We can communicate across the world, but it is spirituality that, uh, that gives us the reason to talk to each other because we want to keep our friendship, our relationship with our family and everything. And uh, science can prove everything in this world. Uh, but can, the science, can science prove how the world was created, how the universe was created, and how, uh, and how human being came into this world? Can they prove uh, how our heart keeps beating for every second in our life? And it is science that defines us human being that we have two, uh, two layers. Staying together is the progress, and working together is success. This is a quote by Henry Ford, who is a successful entrepreneur and in the automobile industry, which is technology provided by science. Now moving on, we have all agreed that science has many benefits. I'm not going to repeat those, but some of the benefits that have gone unsaid were lights. Uh, for example, this building, this projector itself is science, medical technology, and yogic science. There's so many kinds of science that we're living. So basically, we all can agree on that we live science, we dream science, we breathe science, and we are science. So moving on, my, pain, my main point will be science is better for the people because it, it helps people and in medical technology and saves people's lives. Now, another argument I would like to refute is about the war, where they said they make nuclear weapons, etc. But we point out that people kill people. The guns might be the technology, but guns don't kill people. Moving on, um, 
about they talked about drugs and leukemia. In leukemia, there's no proof in science. We provide proof of everything. So there's guarantee in uh, spirituality. There won't be any guarantee. So you have to vote on that. And about the drugs, we can say that drugs are also derived from natural things. So I'll give you uh, four more four main reasons to go for our side. First of all, it would be that if you use a microwave at home, you believe in science. If you use a cell phone, you should go for our side. If you use a computer, you are living science. My second would be that there's proof. And without proof, you really can't have anything guaranteed. So you can't really go for the spirituality because there is no proof. Um, we guarantee it. Um, my third would be that I'll use a quote from Spider-Man. With great responsibility comes great powers. Science has provided a lot of power to us. Thus, we have the responsibility to respect science. Move. Um, right. Time starts. Spirituality is the core of all our lives. It gives us social connection, security, protection, trust. A hope that there is something more than just facts. People keep stating that there are so many materials that help us progress in life. But what about our emotions? What about our faith? We don't need proof, which is why spirituality is an absolute necessity. Science is a good thing, but without spirituality, we would be unable to live. Science is just not advanced enough to prove the benefits of spirituality. Just recently, has science helped prove benefits of yagna when spirituality has shown results since ages? Any more thing you want to say? You've got enough one minute. One more minute. The enthusiasm, though, thank you. Yeah! yeah. We're here to talk about, we're here at this camp to talk about relationships, friendships, and leadership. And what does science do with that? It helps us to maintain those. It helps us to build those. Without science, without communication, without transportation, how far could friendships go? You could be friends with maybe the person next door, maybe the person that lives a mile away. But could you be friends with the person that lives in Australia? Could a person from India be friends with me? I would never have known them without science. So, uh, sorry. Spirituality gives you a reason. It tells you why you're here. It tells you what you're here for. Like, that you have a purpose, that you have, you know, some meaning in your life. But science gives you that as well. Science gave us the theory of the Big Bang. Science tells us that this is what started you. Science gave you, like, actual proof of how the world began and stuff like that. Spirituality, does that answer that for you irrefutably? No, there's no guarantee for how the world really started in, in terms of spirituality. Many different religions have many different interpretations, but science is universal. Science spans all nations, all creeds, all ages, all, all beliefs. We have to tell something which is very, very strong. And then the opening is very important. The opening done on the part of uh, this uh, aerobic exercises was supposed to be, it was supposed to be good. And the opening, opening remark was not perfectly fine. So opening remark when it is not perfectly fine, one or two argument in between, they do not matter. The opening, the presentation technique, your confidence, the way you present yourself, the way you uh, recommend your case, and the way you ask your audience to be a part of you, that is very important. And then how you close it, that closing is very important. So looking to that, uh, we have come to this conclusion. We means me and Krishna and uh, right now. Hmm? You're going to hate me. <laughs> you see, it is all my decision. Not uh, she, she has just held me in this decision. So we have come to this conclusion that the yoga and the spiritual, spirituality with meditation, they are the stronger tools than the Arabic exercise. Woo! So they win the team. Yeah! It starts the super science. So spirituality is the super science. But the way the presentation was starting in the science side, uh, Hethelman, she started it 
but anyway she could not say anything besides repeating the two three sentences which she said uh, maybe this is first time uh, uh, jaydeep was uh, repeating all the things and then he was being helped by the people then the uh, i think puneet was the one of the best because he put up his arguments in a very best way and then the closing was very good by harshit but despite all that we accept that the science is something which is miraculous science science has given us boons and boons but the curses are many spirituality in fact control science spirituality means empathy sympathy love affection your from inside outside one word which was uh, which in the last closing was said that uh, spirituality there are so many religions so many spirituality spirituality is immortal in all religions so you have to you have to accept the word spirituality as the immortal word and spirituality is inculcating the qualities of the godly virtues and when you talk of that spirituality then spirituality is something which is supposed to be very important and then bindi poojan kartavya and despite kartavya saying the remark that uh, i agree that science is uh, definitely has done good so any any way they 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 have done very good complimentary remark this is the beauty of spirituality that it accepts the <laughs> quality of science and then it is recommending its its thing so in my view the spirituality wins the war, wins the debate and so on so they are they form team b now losing team losing team losing team losing team gymnastic whom will you like to join part you can give one week a month or you can give about a month in the whole year that is time donation if you can donate your time is that better or instead of that just writing a check signing it and saying okay i don't have any time for this thing all charitable activities are being run by time or by money this is our argument okay you understand the talk good evening टाइम डोनेशन टू and the second team second debate was in the science and spirituality which one is better spirituality or science and the science they put up their arguments and the arguments starting arguments were very good they tried to put up their remarks in a much much better way but the spirituality presented their case in such a way they were all very very eloquent they were all very prolific in their speaking and that's how the spirituality has won over the science okay now from both the winners those who were the losers they were they have joined two groups half of them means the one who is lost they are joined yoga group the winner group the other one is joined the spirituality group now they are debating about donation of time versus donation of money the donation of time has gone to your left side is donation of time your left side this one you can shake your hands like wave your hands like this they are donation of time now they will argue in, in argue about donation of time these people will argue about donation of money okay these are money people these are time people now there are four rounds the first round is opening remarks which will be given in front of you all of you listen to that but you are not able to supposed to participate you can just listen after the opening remark by one and two the one will give uh, one and two the two will give the first rebut the rebuttal remark will be answering the argument of number 1 first presenter and rebuttal starts from there 1 2 1 2 means there are two rebuts so to total six discussions three from this side three from this side and lastly closing remark two minutes for presentation we observe each and everything we observe the way they present way they speak their arguments the way they uh, express and the way they are being supported the way they are eloquent in their speak 
Sometimes they come here and they just are speechless, seeing this much of mass. So sometimes, and now parents are also seated. So that, that way, how eloquently, how better way they can present their case, this is what we are going to observe. The judges are, do we have Dr. Sam, Dr. Rana? He is gone. Dr. Rana is here? Okay. Dr. Rana, Ajay Nichi Ajay, Dr. Sam. Number one. Number two is Nepali. She is there. Number three is me. Okay? And my, my decision is final. <laughs> Introduction. Time is priceless. If you go to a shelter or if you go anywhere else and you donate your money, how do you know that that money is actually going to get to somebody and help them? If you use your time, if you... <laughs> Okay, what is better, time or money? Inherently, both are good, but the issue arises from the effectiveness of just time donation. There is a limit to how much free time you can coax out of a person to help you, but with money, in a commercial market, you can buy the means and the resources which can exceed the productivity of just a single individual. The world today revolves around the aid of money. Money buys power, and without power, good organizations like the AWGP could, not, could do very little. Yep. The main thing is, uh, the two pillars of the faith is of Gayatri and the Yajna. Yajna means the resources. Without resources, we can't do anything. That is provided by the money and the dollar links so that uh, the temple so that we can get together and we can do a prayer because we know that uh, grouping together and doing a prayer gives more power than individuality. So generally we need a lot of resources like transportation for all the people come together over the temple or we need to build a temple. So it's kind of more of concern about the resources we need to have so that uh, we can all get together and we can uh, do the all the like uh, paid a fee to get in here and you had to make money to get in here in order to survive you need money so why isn't everyone here donating their time donating their lives instead of working you work to get money um, for example Bill Gates he donates all of his money he worked hard he made billions of dollars and now he donates that money to resources he builds villages and he globalized villages in India um, for example, Dr. Saib, he had this dream of the university in Hardwar. How did he get that? How did it get built? With money. <laughs> money. Money is what built that university. He had that dream 10 years ago. He had that dream to build the university 10 years ago. So why wasn't it built then? Because of money. <laughs> for example, you have a cancer patient. Um, what buys them time? Money. Because if you don't have the money to get me medicine, you can't live longer. So that money buys people time. If money is nothing, why is every single person in here agrees that time is money? Money is everything. Yeah. Dr. Said, if he has to get from India to here, it would take like without money, it would take him forever to come here. If we have enough money, we can get a jet for him, get him here in like five hours. We're going to save him rest of the time. Donating his time and his resources, everything that he's doing because of his money. He's reaching the world because of his money. If money was never an issue, you know, why aren't homeless people out there donating their time? Because they need money. Money is what makes the world go around. Everyone here wants to donate their time, but where do you donate it? At the hospitals, homeless shelters, everywhere. First of all, when you, when you donate your time, you know what you are working towards and who you're helping, and you can feel good about it. You have time to donate. Each and every one of us has the same amount of time as Param Puja Guru, Gurudev. We have... We have utilized our 24 hours in the donation of the time in, to the Mandir. Okay, our opponent is presenting a great case right now, but they are forgetting that there is a big flaw in their case, that if you don't have time, you can't work for money. Like um, earlier, someone said that when you donate time, the money will start pouring in. First of all, also, when you donate money, uh, like someone... Uh, 
past le past two minutes, uh, our opponents have been uh, repeating themselves by saying how uh, time is money, but that's not true. Money is uh, time is money. Uh, for all right, all right, guys. You have only 24 hours in a day, but money you can spend as much as you like. All those homeless shelters that were built, you needed money for that. Of course, time was spent to um, make that institute or make the homeless shelters effective and help out other people, but nothing can happen without money. Also, another thing is um, all these religious organizations, have you heard of any that doesn't ask for money, any donations? No, you need the money. How are you going to... How are you going to go out and spread the word for religion or spirituality or any other thing that we've talked about at this camp today without the money that is needed to even to use computer, internet, email to send your message out? Even um, Dr. Uh, Brana Brandia is here today, and he's here, of course, because of the money. Um, do you want to go ahead? <laughs> okay. Um, <well. laughs> They want us to go into good professions, make good money, such as doctors, engineers, pharmacists, you know. Why is that? Because they want us to be happy with money, not time. In this, glo in this world where there's so much globalization, mu time isn't going to get us anywhere. You know, yeah, we'll have time, but without money, nothing's going to be built. We're not going to have food. We won't have any of our personal needs, you know, m like medicines, like clothes, f airplanes, whatever, transportation. The only way you get around is with money. Without money, they're not going to let you on the plane. Oh, here, come on for free, because we have time for you. <laughs> our parents... Yep. Yeah. One minute for closing. Stop. Stop. All right. For the first point in my rebuttal, a lot of people have been from your side have been saying that it took a lot of money to get here. We paid for this, and it took money to get here. But how many days are we spending here? Three, four, almost. That's time. We're donating our time to learn and. It's, it's time that we're spending here, along with the money we ch had to pay to get here. Also, where did the money come from to build Shantikunj? The faith and time of the Parijans only allowed the existence of Shantikunj. Sure, money helps things out, but it is the care of everything. But is it the core of everything? Time is important. Without time, we would be unable to go to Mandir and pray to our gods. Without time, where would all... Where would all our emotions toward Guru Dev go? Would throwing money at our God solve the problem? No, we have to spend time praying to him. We have to spend time in our breath now. Limited. Okay, for a few seconds I will go along with you. Because it is limited. We need more people to do Samedan, and that is more important. Hence why time is important. And also, you also say that there is limited time but without time you would never have money therefore it is the money that is limited okay sorry yeah, okay. and money okay when serving awgp you need both time and money one cannot complete without the other but in today's society we need the money first we need to build mandirs. We need to build the centers. Then, only then, will many volunteers start to come to donate their time. Volunteers can go door to door. They can make phone calls to spread the message of Gayatri. But the impact, the impact of the message is lost if we can't have classrooms built, books printed, CDs made. We are arguing for the right use of money. No blind donations. We want money that is given selflessly. Let's consider Bill Gates again. He could probably teach a child to read in a week's time, but with a single check, a whole country can be made literate through educational programs hiring more teachers. Bill Gates has this ability, and it is a, as of a result of his fortune. You're worried about where the money's going? Give it to the guy to the, the, the all-world guy to Chicago, uh, in the last 15, 15 years of time, has spent, but the grand opening of the Mandir is tomorrow because we were able to buy it. <laughs> Time is very valuable. Two great individuals, Mataji and Gurudev, gave every ounce of blood for this righteous path and this righteous cause. 
Mataji came from a rich family. She gave up her jewelry, all her boundaries, just to spend time with Gurudev in order to, spe to spread this message. None of us can even do that right now. When Gurudev started this, started this mission, he had no funds. But he went around hut to hut and heart to heart. He built man. He brought man up. He, he brought us out of the dark and into the glorious light. And keep this in mind, he had no sufficient funds. 30 seconds. The scriptures are a cow and Dada Gurudev the herder. Gurudev the milkman. He gave his time and his blood for this cause. Will you drink his milk? Jai Gurudev. sanctity lead us to righteous path may sanctity provide magnificence to us may sanctity provide peace to us peace to us now second is surya dhyan pranayam meditate on the sun and do pranayam just keep your hands in the i told you two where it is a pranayam keep your both hands in the lap the sun is a source of energy, prana shakti, and we are imbibing the power of sun. And by imbibing the power of sun, what we are doing? We are trying to give a bath to our personality of the solar consciousness. Now repeat with me, O oh Lord, oh the source of divine vital energy, O oh Mahapran, oh Mahapran, the very breath of our being, Rid us of all evils. Sri Karomi. Now the meaning is we accept the discipline of God. What is this discipline? Daily Upasana. Om Maryadam Charishyami. Of this means we will adopt the right conduct by doing sadhana. Now next is Om Varjyam No Charishyami. We shall not do what is unrighteous in the society. We will try to serve, serve the society. Now you have to pray one time, Gayatri Mantra. Om Bhur Bhuva Swahata Saviturvare Inyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Diyo Yonaha Prachodaya All of you, okay? I don't like that music. Uh, you, do you like that music? I like Omkar Vai's music. <laughs> Before we start the Yagya, we understand the meaning of Yagya. You have to repeat with me, O oh, Yagya Dev, we are offering our oblations of intense love and good wishes with reverence to Mahakal May by the fragrance of these oblations, the subtle world gets purified and divine environment established to facilitate the advent of new era. Gayatri Mantra will do 11 times and then Swaha. I told you how to do it. Like this and then Swaha. Idam Gayatri Idam Namam. That is why we are giving it without any uh, ahuti in our hands. But this is all bhavanatma, emotional, and full of our inner feelings towards the God. Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha Tatsavi Turvari Nyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Diyo Yonah Prachodayat Swaha Idam Gayatri Idam Namam Om Urva Swaha Tatsavi Turvari Nyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Diyo Yonah Prachodayat Swaha 
इदम गायत्री इदम नमः ओम रुद्रवा स्वाहत सवितुर्वारिन्यम् भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि धियो यो नमः प्रचोदयास्वाहा इदम गायत्री इदम नमः ओम रुद्रवा स्वाहत सवितुर्वारिन्यम् भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि धियो यो नमः प्रचोदयास्वाहा इदम गायत्री इदम नमः ओम रुद्रवा स्वाहा तस्सवितुर्वारिन्यम् भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि धियो यो नमः प्रचोदयास्वाहा इदम गायत्री इदम नमः ओम रुद्रवा स्वाहा तस्सवितुर्वारिन्यम् भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि धियो यो नमः प्रचोदयास्वाहा इदम गायत्री इदम नमः ओम रुद्रवा स्वाहा तस्सवितुर्वारिन्यम् भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि धियो यो नमः प्रचोदयास्वाहा इदम गायत्री इदम नमः स्वाहा तस्सवितुर्वारिन्यम् भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि धियो यो नमः प्रचोदयास्वाहा इदम गायत्री इदम नमः ओम रुद्रवा स्वाहा तस्सवितुर्वारिन्यम् भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि धियो यो नमः प्रचोदयास्वाहा इदम् गायत्री इदम् रुद्रवा स्वाहा तस्सवितुर्वारिन्यम् भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि धियो यो नमः प्रचोदयास्वाहा इदम् गायत्री इदम् नमः very long chronic illness for his recovery for anyone who has his birthday in last seven days in coming seven days anyone मनु भाई योर बर्थडे नेपाली इस बर्थडे ट्वेल्थ अगस्त या आरती दक्षिण मेरा भी आठ को मेरा आप आठ दोबार छबीलाल जी इस छबील दास जी एट अगस्त एट एट एंड व्हाट एंड व्हाट डू ही डज मिरेकल्स ॐ त्रयंबकम् यजामहे सुगंधिम् पुष्टिवर्धनम् उर्वारुकर्मिवाबंधनान् वृद्धोर मुक्षियमाम् रितात्स्वाहा इदम् महाम् रित्यायाय इदम् नमः अन् वृद्धोर मुक्षियमाम् रितात्स्वाहा इदम् महाम् रित्यायाय इदम् नमः ॐ त्रयंबकं यजामहे सुगंधिम् पुष्टिवर्धनम् उर्वारुकमिवबंधनान् मृत्योर्मुक्षियमाम्रितास्वाहा इदम् महाम्रत्यन्याय इदम् नमः we have already done the recitation, but once in this recital hall, we should do the Devadi Dev Mahadev's istuti. All of us will recite. Here, at the end of, at the end of, Chicago Gayatri Gyan Mandir Camp, Chicago Gayatri Gyan Mandir Camp, to give up, to give up, a bad habit today. Bad habit. Today. Now think in your mind, what is that bad habit? Don't say loudly. I had, I am living, selling, telling lie today. This means till the today you are telling only lies and lies. So whatever you have to say, say to yourself what you are living. 
one bad habit at least your self should listen to that now after that you have to repeat i shall perform i shall perform gayatri sadhana daily gayatri sadhana daily i shall i shall regularly read regularly yug nirman yug nirman and and positivism promoting promoting literature literature i shall work for i shall work for spread of noble deeds spread of noble deeds as aradhana of god and aradhana of god i shall i shall just a minute adopt the disciplines of tere jeevan danis samaydan dena hai samaydan ki baat hai to apne man se jab dene ki baat aaye to sochna chahiye kya de rahe hain what are you giving if you give me 24 hours i'll take all of you main shanti kun se paisa manga ke chartered flight mein sabko bitha ke le jaunga You know, I am asking you to donate one hour or two hour per day. I shall spend per per day how many hours? You have to tell yourself how many hours? One hour or six hours a day, week? We 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 talked about time then. When we talked about time then, then we we should. Better bed job. You will be seen many times. <laughs> many people will see you. You are the hero of the world today. Okay. I shall. Shall spend daily. Spend daily. I leave the will the column hours, hours, hours. and save at least. Sell at least. The आवाज़ धीमी पड़ गई थोड़ी सी नहीं क्या बात है? पैसा बताना पड़ेगा कितने पैसे यू रोज बचाएंगे गायत्री ज्ञान मंदिर के लिए देव संस्कृति विश्वविद्यालय के लिए how much you will be saving per day per day for divine purposes for divine purpose this self discipline will be maintained will be maintained throughout my life. Throughout my life, O Yagya Dev Prabhu, O Yagya Dev Prabhu, introduce, introduce such fragrance of virtuous deeds, such fragrance of virtue in me, in me, which may inspire, which may inspire others, others around me, around me to perform, to perform similar virtuous actions, similar virtuous actions in their lives, in their lives. In this way, in this way, enlightenment, enlightenment may spread from, may spread from lamp to lamp, lamp to lamp. The Purna Hoti Mantra. Om Purna Madha Purna Midam Purna Tha Purna Muda Chate Purna Se Purna Madaya Purna Meva Vasishate Swaha. Om Sarvam Vai Purna Gum Swaha. Are you to meant for Arti? Can I ask Arti to come on the stage? How many Artis we have? Arti, how many Artis? In I can keep it there. Now I will recite the last six sutras, last six points of the eighteen points. We will, we will actively involve, actively involve ourselves, ourselves in bringing together, bringing together persons of persons national, of national unity, national unity and equality, and equality of all human beings, of all human in beings. our conduct, in our conduct we will not make, will not make any discrimination, any discrimination between person and person, between person and person on the basis of, on the basis of caste, caste. Creed, creed, color, color, religion, religion, reason, reason, language, language, or gender, or gender. We firmly believe, we firmly believe that each human being, each human being, is the maker of his own destiny. His own destiny. With this conviction, this conviction, we will uplift and transform, uplift and transform, and help others, others in doing so. We believe the world, we believe the world will then automatically change. Totally for the better, for better. As all we have done before, we do shanti part. I got one more item for you. Expressions from all of you. Before that, my expression, what I have felt like. You see, I had done three camps. This is my third camp. And after this third camp, after this third camp, when I am finishing, a person who is seated on that height, but I will carry with me. your love and affection and i'll show it to gigi how nice it is to be with a youngster of very young age from the age of tanupa nimit's daughter and from there and to shivani to the elder ones like what we experienced the, the 
and mixture of the various age group, group 2 and group 3, and then the senior adults. They, they were inquisitive. They wanted to know many things. Unfortunately, I could not give much time to them, but whatever time I could, perhaps they enjoyed. If they enjoyed, they can say, yeah. And the adults one. Uh, later on, maybe we may have a separate workshop for the adults, so that we, can be, we, we may be able to give more and more to them. We did something concrete today. We did something, decisions we had taken from the, for the North America, and uh, maybe we'll be able to apply them, we'll be able to implement them. Now, I'll invite from you, from group one, that is age group seven to 10 years, one person, either, either boy or girl, you have to choose to express his or her feeling in two minutes. Okay? How did he or she feel like? A game part. Did you, did you play something in the, in the, in the... They're from last year's in Philadelphia. And I liked the amount of free time we had just to play cards or go outside with friends. And I liked the food. And <laughs> the one improvement I think would be better is like if we had one rehearsal of the whole culture program. And um, like if we had a little bit more adjustment between timing. So if we wanted to extend it something a little bit more or take it back a little bit, we could. My group three will probably agree when I say that these last couple of days has definitely been um, enlightening. And we all have been submerged into a pool of enlightenment. And um, we have been transformed through discipline and yoga every day. And there's been a sense of balance where we had our fun times, but we also had our serious time. So that balance creates um, this youth group very successful. Also, um, I really liked doing yoga in the morning, even though I fell asleep the first time. <laughs> um, if I have already said my, my favorite thing about the camp, my favorite thing about the camp is hearing Omkar Bai sing. And uh, away from worldly problems and I, we, I didn't feel any stress and I didn't feel, I didn't think negatively at all because we have been put away from the modern problems of the world. We have, we're in a place where we're surrounded by the Gaiti aura, we're surrounded by positiveness and we're surrounded by um, uh, people who believe in spirituality and we're, sur we're, we're surrounded by um, positiveness and that, I think that's what that counts and hope we take this and bring it to the more modern society and live this way. Um, Any suggestion for future? Uh, suggestion, uh, the only thing I can say is um, I wish um, this is a uh, suggestion to the youth group of uh, Chicago. The only thing I can say is uh, we could definitely have more um, more um, uh, icebreakers and these kind of more, more icebreaker games and better games. Uh, even though we uh, we made many friends and uh, have had a great group experience, learn how to work in group, etc., we could definitely do more uh, icebreaker games and um, learn about other people from all across the United States. Um, I, it's kind of hard to believe that camp's almost over. And uh, I remember the first time um, we had a conference call and uh, we decided that we had the camp in Chicago. You know, and we had a yagna that day, and so we came. I came downstairs, and um, I made an announcement that you know we're gonna have a camp in Chicago, 2006, at Whitewater. Well, we didn't really know it was gonna be at Whitewater, but um, we had a bunch of ideas of where, where where camp could be, and so then um, you know, people were excited, and my father and I uh, went to came to this university, and we checked it out, and we liked it, and. Um, from then we made the deci uh, decision that we'd come here for camp, and then the, then after that the planning started. How, what, what, what kind of binders we get, what kind of material, and all that stuff. So um, we had all the the youth from Chicago uh, put so much effort into this. You know, Sefali, Herschel. I mean, so many people. I I can't. You know, we spent time making these binders and, you know, and our Rashna auntie and Madhi Ben, you know, like, they helped with the material. Not only did we build, build um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, re I really feel that this camp was a great success. And if it wasn't for everyone's efforts that, that they put in, you know, it wouldn't have been 
youth. Imagine that. Imagine meeting that many people. And uh, we'll, do that. we'll do that. We'll do that. And uh, Parth has finished the one more formality of thanking on behalf of the host. Now, I, I like adults from the adults, someone to come and say their comment. Six days with the Chicago. Thanks to the to the Dr. Saab. Normally, we don't get that kind of chance. Under his busy schedule, we usually get about two days for Chicago visit. But because of the youth program, how much Dr. Saab is putting effort in, we got six days, and most of us get to spend time with Dr. Saab. This is the first time I've seen Dr. Saab in a different role than I've seen in the past. So this, we are all very fortunate to have Dr. Saab and this other saint, Pope Santi Kunj, Omkar Ji, Chabil Ji, and Santi Bhai with us to basically inspire us and basically run this youth camp and guide us to, so how we can improve and how we can tell our younger generation in the future. I'm most proud of our Chicago youth and all other youth from the uh, United States. I think the looking at this youth, the way they perform and the way they took the directions and everything else, we have a bright future. In uh, Ontario, London, and third highest is this one. But not by the number. The qualitatively, this camp has been more disciplined, much better, much understanding, and much, much, much better. Our final programs as well as we are here to carry the values what we have received from Dr. Saib. I think we are fortunate. We are very fortunate. I haven't seen any organization in the whole world where the leader of the organization is spending so much time with the children. As we all know that from last three weeks, Dr. Saib is with the children and his aim and objective is to transfer all the good values what our Gurudev and Mataji has taught us in the form of the Yugdhimari Yodhna Gayatri Parivar. And we are very fortunate to receive this wonderful inspiration from Dr. Saib. So at this time, I would like to request all of you to give a big hand with the three clap. Well, thank you all, and I haven't seen the camp. I have attended about six camps so far. I haven't seen camp with so much love and affections, and there is no any kind of the dispute in the camp. There is no any kind of the miscommunication in the camp, and there is no any kind of the any kind, any uh, disrespect in the camp. So I think everybody really worked together, and everybody respected each other. Everybody really tried to put the good effort to make a camp successful. So this is the success of the camp, and credit goes to the definitely Chicago Gayatri Gyan Mandir, all the trust members. <laughs> who was who was really pushing RP behind that? Parth <laughs> and Parth, but good thing that you know Parth and uh, all other friends got together that you know yes you have a lot of experience but we need a lot of support and he was trying to call every single person to make sure that all three camps goes as per the plan and the schedule. I think he really put uh, Barkha and uh, Barkha, you can Krishna. These are the girls who came all the way from there to make the, make the camp success. They attended the Pan State camp and they attended this camp. I wanted to know from them personally which one is the best camp. And they, both of them may perhaps agree with me. This was the one of the best camp you attended. You have. Okay. Now, one more person needs the uh, applause from us. He is, he is not Indian. He is an American. And uh, he has a, uh, made everything possible here. Whatever we wanted, he did it. And he was very friendly. He is very friendly. He is not with us. He is a, he is a 74 year young man. I told him that 
if we come and you, if we don't find you, we'll come to your house. We've got your house number and everything. So he says, all the time welcome. No, don't worry. Come to my house and, and then I'll take you around the whole university. All university officials and need comment. Actually, they should also be given applause because they uh, bear with us. They Whatever we could do, we tried to spoil everything, the grass and everything. We, we tried to mishandle the garbage cans also. So they, they, that happens in the camp. But they also had to bear with us and they friendly done, did it. So applause for the White Washington University. <laughs> Shanti Abhisanchan. <laughs> all the best to all of you. Okay? Shanti Abhisanchan means now the knowledge about everything. Pranav Bhai, who Pranav Bhai? Aveya Tata, Tum, you will just forget about all of us. So that Khadar Pani will keep you remembering and see what you said, everything you can enjoy. Okay? You have to sprinkle a little water better on. Just go like this. Go like this. Face, face towards that side. Face towards that side. Now go on sprinkling on each and every one. Om Dyo Shanti Ranta Riksha Gum Shanti Prathavi Shanti Ranaspadaya Shanti Vishwe Deva Shanti Brahma Shanti Sarva Gum Shanti Shanti Deva Shanti Sama Shanti Devi Om Shanti 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 this is barkha means barkha comes on everyone. Okay. <laughs> Pull, can we remove this? Can we take? Okay. Oh my god. There my friends is a show about. Here you go. Oh yeah. Hey, hey Rami Baya. I I need help in my ma in math homework can you help me um sure well what's the problem krupa 15 minus 8 okay okay so there's 15 cookies and you eat 8 so 1 Two, three, four, five. Thank you. Another relationship, please. I'm going to see an example of relationship again. This is the friends are at Jigger's house. No, I don't want to play because my colors. Uh, that's, 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 no, I'll get a different one. We want something good. Really? Okay, yeah. you know what I was thinking? Actually, I don't want a diamond. How about you get me three cars? One for... One for you. No, maybe not you. No, you don't get a car. It's okay. I'll drive. I'll get one car, and then my mom can get a car. My dad can get a car. Um, I don't think so. I think I want my Ferrari first. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is going to become an argument now. You know what? You're the one that starts the arguments, not me. Hey, you asked me to change my diamond, and I said I want the hope diamond. Well, you don't know what you want. Okay, gonna... So here you see the modern couple. Was that a joke? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> now, we were discussing the other day as to why we got married as well. And... Um, Initial thoughts were, you know, get to know each other and kind of grow together, join forces. What do you think? Yeah, I think there should be a bigger purpose of marriage, like serve the community, do something good for others. Yeah, like attending this camp may be one of the reasons. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's, that's a good Very purpose, good. I think. Very good. Oh, that's my age. They say, go to the school, go to the school, go to the school, go to the मुझे तो लगता है कभी कि वो बुढ़िया बिल्कुल सठिया गई है हां जो ने मारी सास भी रोज 8 कलाक जॉब करी ने घरे जो तैयार जो ने कैसे कि ईमेल करवी छे कोई ने इंडिया में इंटरनेट वापरता सिखवाड़ आने हजू तो खा बनावानी शुरुआत करो तैयार कैसे गुजरात समाचार वाचु छे संदेश वाचु छे अहिया गाड़ी रही ने इंडिया ना समाचार वाची ने सु करसे रोजे रोजे सी खबर मारो तो सु थसे 
अरे अरे जस्ट येस्टरडे आई हैड अ फाइट विथ माई मदर इन लॉ बट आई खुडन हैंडल बींग एंग्री विथ हर यू गैस शुड लर्न टू रिस्पेक्ट योर मदर इन लॉज एंड वेन एवर यू हैव अ फाइट गो गिव हर लॉर्ड्स ऑफ हर्ग्स बिकॉज शी ट्रीट्स यू लाइक योर हर डॉटर एंड यू शुड ट्रीट हर लाइक योर मदर अच्छा तो अब मैं कोशिश करूँगी उनको समझने की हाँ हूँ पर प्रयत्न करेस गैश आई एम सो सॉरी आई डू एवरी थिंग आई कैन टू हेल्प The next day, some supplies. Maybe you can go to the volunteer center and get some volunteers. Yeah, definitely. I'm free this weekend. Sure. You guys, this means a lot to me. Everyone in this skit represented a leader, a leader who could, a leader who would change this world. Very good. Hey, Niam. भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि धियो यो ना प्रचोदया डू यू नो एनी वन हू हेज रिटन मोर देन थ्री थाउजेंड बुक्स और इन्फ्लुएंस मोर देन नाइनटीन मिलियन पीपल वेल पंडित श्री राम शर्मा आचार्य हेज दिस इज We are Neil and Tej, and we are here to spread Guru Bhar's message. I will read one page from Guru Dev's literature every day and say mantra every day too. This way, we could spread Guru Bhar's message and help out people. Give them a big hand, these guys. Okay. So while Krishna and Sudama were kids, they were studying in the same university. They were very good friends, and Krishna always liked whatever Sudama. brought from his home so here comes krishna come on hey oh loud loud come here i'm krishna I'm Rukmini, and I'm Krishna. And these guys, uh, Himadri, give the phone, give the mic to them. I'm Sudama. I'm Sudama's wife. Yahoo group and stuff, or Garabai, one of them.
Hare Hare 